much on the channel here. I got a bunch of stuff I got to do, but I'm back. It is me, resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington. I'm here with my reaction for the first teaser trailer for Thor Love and Thunder. People have been whining and crying and complaining about this trailer online, primarily Twitter, for months. Because yes, the movie does drop on July 8th. I get it. People are like, where's the trailer? Where's the trailer? And... I wanted the trailer. I want the trailer. Granted, we get, I, you know, how the phase goes. You get the teaser, the official, the final, and you'll get a bunch of TV spots in between. But I've started to be of the mindset where when we don't get a trailer immediately, it's cool. How can we can't just go into the movie blind no matter what? Most, the overwhelming majority of us are going to go see it regardless let's keep it a buck y'all it's a marvel studios movie it is a comic book movie most people are going to go see a comic because because it is superhero is its own genre now most people are gonna go see a comic book movie tv show straight out the gate especially a movie pretty much regardless now everybody in the world not going probably not gonna run i get it but people gonna go regardless so when people be like, yo, I got to get this trailer. We need this trailer. We need this trailer. Where's the trailer? Calm down. You still don't see the movie regardless. But nonetheless, we got a teaser. We're going to see what it does because I know I'm excited. Again, you got Chris Hemsworth, Tessa, Tessa Thompson, Taika Waititi back at the helm. You're getting the Guardians in this, all that together. So I'm going to watch this trailer Watch this trailer with y'all. Y'all going to watch it with me. We're going to get a little tease. Get a little palette wet and see how we rock with it. In three, two, one. Okay. Oh, shit, he with the classic costume. were once used for battle. Now they're but humble tools for peace. Okay. I need to figure out exactly who I am. Sweet child of mine. I'm not throwing trainers. Live in the moment. My superheroing days are over. into the eyes of the people that you love. <laughs> Not me. What? Just listening. She got the broken Milnor restored to his glory. Okay. Again, that's still enough for me. I, I'm happy with it. If we got our guardians, you got you got uh Valkyrie sitting on her throne as the king of Asgard, new Asgard. Clearly, we're getting Zeus and old schools. I wonder who's playing Zeus. I think that's gonna be a good reveal for whoever that is playing Zeus. Um the Mighty Thor, of course, Natalie Portman, Jane Foster. You got your Guardians, and, and, you know, we're seeing this team of Guardians, and then according to what James Gunn has already said, in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, this will be the last time we see this team together, but that's like, let's just be honest, it's like the Suicide Squad. The teams rotate members and stuff like that, so it happens. Uh, again, for a minute and 30 for a quick teaser, I'm excited for it. Sweet child of mine works. We get to see Thor working off the weight from being fat Thor. This man, if you've ever been in the gym and done the ropes, to watch him do the chains like the ropes is dope. Um, and then him just having that innocent. And that's the thing. Sweet child of mine works because Thor still, even he's a grown man. He's a god. He's over 1,500 years old, whatever he said in uh, Endgame. He still has a child, a sense of innocence within him. And I think that's what definitely helps out seeing the kid run to the teenage Thor run with the classic Thor costume 
to what we know as Thor. And then you see the newer version with the gold, the gold highlights and trim. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Again, Taika Waititi did amazing with Thor Ragnarok. So for him to return for Thor Love and Thunder only makes sense. More Korg and Meek, you can't beat that as well. Um, I know a lot of people are going to ask, are we going to see more of the Hulk? Because we did have him in Thor Ragnarok a lot in his relationship with Valkyrie and stuff like that. But I think uh, the Hulk's plan is more so leaning towards She-Hulk. So we'll see how that goes. And we should be getting a trailer for that pretty soon as well. But I want to know your thoughts down below in those comments. And also, y'all know the one, drill, the one rule and one drill I keep, no matter what. Keep it civil, y'all. We are talking about TV shows and movies based on comic books. In life, you just want to say, it ain't that damn serious. So let's have some fun in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts, all right? And while you're here, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. J Washington, M R J A Y. You should know how to spell Washington. Check out Blurge in the Hood every Tuesday and Thursday, 2 p.m. 6 p.m. Pacific. Excuse me. I keep going to the old time for some reason. 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. on the East Coast, myself and Winston A. Marshall. June 18th. Saturday, June 18th, we are doing our first ever live taping of Blurreds in the Hood at the Bourbon Room in Hollywood, California. You can get your tickets at shptickets.com, man. It's going to be a blast. People who get our elite package with the meet and greet and everything, you're getting a special Blurreds in the Hood t-shirt. And if you want to get that, you got to buy your tickets at least no later than three weeks before this show. But that's that. The Mad Titan Podcast, where I get you caught up on all the things happening in the Marvel and DC live action cinematic universes. It is Barbershop Talk for Nerds. I'll be dropping a new episode this week. All that and more, all right? I will holler at y'all later. Take care.